Hey, what's going on, guys? Fetch Tech Up here. So, I have here with me the brand new Techno Camon 15, and I'm going to be comparing with the Techno Camon 15 Premiere to see where the big difference comes in, especially the camera. To see if it's what the extra cash Techno is asking you to pay for the Premiere version, or why do you even care? Maybe you should just buy anything you desire, no matter the price. But before I begin, please kindly hit on the subscribe button to join this awesome family and turn on your post notifications so you get alerted when I post a new video. So both devices were released at the same time and they are the brand's latest offering. The Techno Common 15 and the Common 15 Premier have a lot in common. Similarly sized screen, though with different resolution, stunning design, friendly performance and identical camera setup behind. The Techno Common 15 Premier brags with a full HD Plus IPS panel, a high-tech pop-up selfie camera, and a huge 64 megapixels main camera. While the Techno Common 15 shines with a larger battery, a huge 48 megapixels camera, and a reasonably priced stack that will make a non-tech savvy feel very happy. Okay, so before we continue, let's take a quick look at their spec sheets. The Techno Common 15 Premier packs an Helio P35 Octa Core CPU from MediaTek, 6GB of RAM, a 128GB of internal storage, a 4000mAh battery, and Android 10 out of the box. While the Techno Common 15 comes with Helio P22 Octa Core CPU from the same MediaTek, a 4GB of RAM, 64GB of internal storage, but with a huge 5000mAh battery and Android 10 out of the box as well. So one of the downsides from both devices has to be the lack of USB Type-C. Instead of that, we get a micro USB and no fast charger out of the box. So I tested both with a fast charger and it works. It cuts the charging time on both devices to half as opposed to 3 hours of the usual time. And it makes me wonder why they did not include a fast charger inside the box. So when it comes to design and build quality, the Techno Common 15 Premier feels and look much better than the Common 15. But when it comes to build and material quality, it appears the comparison is a draw here because both devices are made out of plastic, even though the Common 15 Premier feels a little more polished. It is easy to tell the Common 15 from the Common 15 Premier if you're looking at their back panels. The Common 15 has a rectangular style of camera placement behind while the Premier has the camera arranged in a straight line. Both devices come with different color variations such as Ice Jedi and Opal White for the Common 15 Premier, while the Common 15 comes with a Shao Gold, Fascinating Purple and Dark Jet. Both phone rocks an IPS display and they are sharp and vivid. Colors appear vibrant and pleasing, so consuming media content is enjoyable on both devices. I only wish the Common 15 had a 1080p as the Common 15 Premier. The Common 15 comes in a punch hole style with a front flash, while the Common 15 Premier comes with a full view display that gives the device a clean and attractive look. Okay, so on the software side of things, both devices come preloaded with Android 10 with a custom skin from Techno. Though it is not a cluttered free user interface as I might prefer, it comes bundled with so many Bluetooth, but thankfully, some of them can be removed if you find it to be distracting. The user experience is okay on both phones and they handle basic tasks effectively. I have made a detailed review on each of these devices, so if you feel most information here are lacking, you can check out those videos. Links in the description. On the battery department, as you would expect, the Techno Common 15 trounce the Common 15 Premier due to the huge 5000mAh battery capacity it carries, as opposed to the 4000mAh battery found in the Techno Common 15 Premier. Though not by much, the Common 15 can comfortably last for 2 days on a medium usage, while the Common 15 Premier can endure for a full day plus of basic use. The speakers on both devices are okay, however, the Camo 15 Premier sounded much better with a fuller sound and performed brilliantly with an active amplifier, delivering a perfectly accurate output. While both devices offer excellent loudness, the Camo 15 Premier has some of the loudest volume level in this test. Take a listen.
okay now let's move to the area that picked your interest to click on this video which is a camera both devices boast of a huge megapixels count and they should be able to live up to their bragging rights all right okay so the technocomo 15 premier comes with the 64 megapixels camera as its main sensor while the common 15 comes with the 48 megapixels camera as its main sensor too so i'm going to focus more on the main sensor let's see which is the best so it's going to be 64 megapixels against 48 megapixels so at first glance i would say the images look nearly identical but we're not here to look at identical images we're here to look for perfections and imperfections on the first image here it is clear that the 64 megapixels image on the camera 15 premiere comes out a little brighter and vibrant than the 48 megapixels image on the camera 15. the camera 15 image on the other hand appears a little underexposed especially in dark areas though images look more natural high dynamic range is okay on both images and details are present but when you zoom in or further pixels peeping to my surprise the camo 15 48 megapixels retain more details than the 64 megapixels on the camo 15 premiere but not by a wide margin but then it is noticeable the 48 megapixels image on the camo 15 introduces some yellow tint to some of its images Sometimes that tint is visible, but most of the time it is consistent with clean looking images. The overall image quality on both devices appears decent with vivid colors. Details are very much present and they look amazing. This phone still needs tons of light for much better results. Once the lighting condition is good, you are going to have a very good amount of resolved detail with good contrast. But to get the best out of these two devices, make sure you switch to their high megapixels mode. So in conclusion, you can see it's a fight that can be won by point or even feature comparison, though it can also be decided by your preference. But in my opinion, both phones perform well, but the Camo 15 Premier is a clear winner here, especially when you factor in the camera, performance, better screen and design. But if the camera is your most concern here and you're trying to cut down on cost, then trust me, you'll be very fine with the Camo 15. The Techno Common 15 images and the Premier images are not too far off from each other. Both are excellent and you might have difficult time trying to look out for a device with the best overall image among the two. I'm pretty sure whichever phone you buy, you won't regret that decision for a second, especially on the camera side of things. Okay, so that's it guys. Share your thoughts with me in the comment section below. Let me know what you think about these two devices. Like and share this video and please don't forget to subscribe to just show your support. And thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye bye.